Hey there one and all, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Right, so in the last episode we did the Fast Foe Comet inside Toy Time Galaxy, so in this episode we are going to do the Secret Star and Gusty Gardens, because I did do some research on this. I now know what to do and everything, so why don't we say we just go on ahead and do this. Um, <clears throat> I do know what you have to do, you have to... You know I mentioned that there was those question mark coins like scattered about all over the place? Well you're actually supposed to collect those to get Rainbow Mario. And hang on a second, my Wii Remote is kind of tangled with my headphone wires. Some weird reason, I don't know how that happened, but... Ugh. do you just find it weird like how wires get all tangled up together? Because, I don't know, it's like sometimes you leave wires and then you're wondering how the hell they got tangled up in the first place because you know that you didn't put them in that kind of way and then you find them in a different sort of way and oh my headphone wires man sorry. stopping me from being able to point at the screen <laughs> alright so um, you have to collect these if you miss a single one of these question mark points like I did just then you have to kill yourself <laughs> there's no other way about it so um, I may be wasting extra lives here trying to get this but <laughs> Uh, there's nothing else I can do about it. I did promise you that I was going to do this one because <laughs> I did say that I'd look up how you do it and apparently it's as simple as this. Just collect all of the um, question mark coins. Even the one here, you have to collect this one too. If you miss this one, then you're screwed. <laughs> and then there's one up there too. But this one's the easiest one to get because you know all you got to do is kill the Petey Piranha and then get this. And I think you get this one and then oh right there are more seriously okay then apparently there are okay there you go there's rainbow mary now what you have to do is quickly run to the other side of the planet like completely ignoring everything else and destroying the gold chain chunk because if you miss this then you obviously have to do it all over again as well <laughs> but there we go we've done it not too bad like, you have plenty of time to go ahead and get that power star. Like, you're not going to run out of time or anything like that. So there you go. There's the secret star inside Gusty Guards. I could have done that in a matter of two minutes the last time I tried doing it. But it turned out to take me a whole video. Because <laughs> I thought there was a warp pipe on that planet. I was, like, searching all over the place and going, Where the hell is this warp pipe? And there never was a warp pipe. I was looking for a non-existing warp pipe. And there's 92 power stars. Yay. So... That concludes um, pretty much Gusty Gardens for this point in the game. And my nunchuck is somewhat disconnected because I wasn't able to move just then. <laughs> right, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back out and I'm going to see what comets are now available for us to do. Um, it's basically like me doing secret stars and then doing comets and then doing secret stars and then doing comets because comets are the ones I really want, really want to get out of the way first. Like I don't really want to be focusing too much on the secret stars because they're basically like main power stars. They take just as long to do. Well, some of them do anyway. Some of them take less longer. Some of them take quite a while to do. Um, apparently, the only one that is available to us is the speedy comet inside Dreadnought. Um, oh God. Well. <laughs> What have I got to lose? I mean, if I don't get this comet done, then it's never going to go away. It's always going to stay there. So, we might as well go ahead and get it out of the way now. What do you What do you say? But I'm going to take the shortcut up to the Garden Dome here. Alright, this one is probably going to be the one where I lose a whole bunch of extra lives. I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh, this will be the one that gives me the most nightmares the one that's going to be the most pain in the ass to do. Well, in this dome, anyway, I bet it's going to be even... Well, I don't think it'll be even harder than the dead that will come inside friggin' Melty Molten, but... Still, you know... You know my love for this galaxy. You know I love it so much. <laughs> uh, that name, Dreadnought, brings me back so many nostalgic memories. Oh, it's Top Man Tribe Speedrun. Yeah, it is this one. Oh my god. They would just have to pick the one power star on the whole freaking level. That's the worst one to do. Oh. Yeah, th this is the one with the corridor where you have to dodge all the cannonballs. So, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I was looking forward to this power star indeed. Indeed I was. 
I do remember it being this one, I just remember it like being the one that was the most pain in the ass to do. Alright, come here. Because they just want to give you give you a challenge. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, yeah, just get this one. Get, get, just basically get any friggin' red one that there is. Hurry up, dude, otherwise the time's gonna run out. I think there's only two red ones, actually, so... I don't think they give you more than two, because why would they need to give you more than two? <laughs> Even though it would help so much <laughs> if they gave a whole load of those. Thank you. Thank you to thank you in return. Let me create a shortcut for you. Okay, I'm going to transform. I right, thank you. All right, I, I don't want this to take up the whole video, but the good thing is that it's not like a daredevil speed run or anything like that. Because if it was a daredevil speed run, then we'd be in for a world of hurt. I don't know why it's starting to lag now. It didn't lag yesterday. Freaking computer is crazy. It like decides when it wants to lag and Well, right, I'm gonna have to turn this computer off once I've done this level because basically what I did yesterday was I turned off the computer, I, I let it load, I left it to load for like ten minutes, which is what I should have done today, but I did leave it to load. I didn't think I don't think I left it to load for as long as I should have done. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird with this computer. And now it's not lagging, it's being perfectly fine. You were thinking at a time like this it would be lagging like crazy because I was going through a launch star. Alright, um... Hmm. And I have no programs open. And Mozilla Firefox, before I started recording this, um, decided to randomly open without me even opening it myself. <laughs> don't know why that decided to happen, but... Remember, it's about patience with this thing. With, the, with this part of the level, it's all just about patience. This is like the hardest part right here. It's just trying to get your timing right and stuff. And not letting your Wii remote screw you up either. <laughs> Alright, you want to go to the one that's the furthest out. Like, don't go to the one that's the furthest in. Otherwise, you're not going to get there. Now go. Uh, are we on the last one here? The last amount? Okay, I want to go with this one over here, but too friggin' slow, dude. Oh, never mind. I got it. <laughs> I managed to get it. Now go. And that was just on. That was just. That was close as well. Close call. <laughs> so now we're on the final planet, I think. Where? Oh no, we're not. We still got to get through this. <laughs> oh god. Right. Okay. I thought we was there, man. I thought we was on the home stretch, ready to take on Top Man. But that's not going to be too hard, because, you know, Top Man's an easy boss. And we only have two minutes left, and I don't know why it did the bell noise. <laughs> I mean, we ain't got really too much to worry about here. Right. And there's another, um, which we will be needing now, because I just lost it. Another live stream, so we'll get that. And just keep, basically just keep long jumping. I don't have any other advice to give you on this platform right here. It's just to keep long jumping and hope for the best. I mean, the lucky thing is that they actually provide you with, uh, <laughs> with that life room. Wow, this hasn't actually been too much of a pain. I mean, it all depends how well the top man boss goes. I mean, if it goes, um, okay, then we'll be fine. I mean, it doesn't take too long to kill it, and we have, like, two minutes left to do it. Well, we have over two minutes, actually. So, <laughs> Like I say, just mainly focus on killing the boss. Don't focus on killing any of his cronies. Because his cronies aren't going to be the things that giving you the trouble, or not going to give you the power star. The thing that's going to give you the power star is the boss, and I'm being bounced around like crazy. <laughs> and this is a speed run after all, so there's no dilly-dallying about, you know, pr prancing around. You gotta be serious and Oh my god dude seriously. There we go. <laughs> I was being bounced around by his cronies like crazy. And we won't have enough time to do another power star, so I'll have to end it off here. Uh before Lagzilla comes and strikes my friggin' <laughs> um D V D recorder program. <laughs> Which means I'll have to turn the computer off and let it load up properly. So, we've done 93 power stars. 
And we can now make a save. And resume in the next episode. So in the next episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, um, I guess we find some more power stars to do. Probably uh, the secret stars in Dusty Dune I really want to get cleared out. But actually, hang on a second. I want to go and see real quickly if there are any more comets available for us to do. And if there isn't, then I will end off the video. And why did I go down the wrong shortcut? I don't know. Oh my god. So time consuming, man. So time consuming. I just have to go all the way down to the engine room area <laughs> and then long jump down. So I should have went the shortcut. <laughs> Never mind, that's kind of like a shortcut, I guess. I didn't have to go all the way around. So, is there any comets available for us? No, there isn't. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do some secret styles inside Dusty Dune, I think, in the next episode. So, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. See you on my next video, and goodbye.